Hello everyone and welcome to another video of All Around Data. Today we are going to import data from an API while using an iterate function. Uh, so let's have a look at the setup that we already had. The setup is the following. We have here a table with information about the 30 NBA teams. Um, but we also want to import data of the players of each team. So let's have a look at how the API is returning that data. We can hear I took uh, one team which has ID 13, which can be seen here, or the LA Lakers. Uh, and then all the players and their information is outputted. So we can here see athletes. And then for every person here, the first name, last name, full name, the wave, the height, date of birth, debut year and so on and so on even if you go down we can see here into which college they went where they are born the injuries they currently have and even the contract information so let's have a look at how we are going to import that using talent the first step is we need to input this id because we need the id for all the teams which we will use later on here in the URL. So we use the TDB input component. Again, we can use the existing connection defined here. And here in the query, we define that we select the IDs from aging.espn and VA teams. So just like that. Um, the next step we need to do is we are going to iterate over this component. Uh, so we connect with main and then we use a dummy to Java. Just like that. So what this, this component does is it actually, instead of one batch, that it handles every, all the rows in one time, it will iterate over each input row that we have. So for this, it will be first this row, then this row, then this row. So actually the steps afterwards are done 30 times in this case. So once we have done this, we can talk to the API that we need the data. Let's press yes here. And the URL, we can use this one. Now, this was the API for one particular team um, for the LA Lakers, as here the ID is defined uh, as 13. But we want to make it dynamic. So if for each iteration, that it's another team. So we can simply do that by concatenating multiple parts of the string so just like this row five dot so ID. we also say it's json right here and we uncheck the convert response to dom documents um, we also probably here need to define the schema that we are going to import the column id we just give it a dummy length moment yes and we also say that this subjob only starts after we have imported the data from the teams so right now everything is set up to get the data from the api uh, the only issue left is that we, it will be returned in this format which is yeah, a whole json so we need to parse it uh, so we can input it into our sql database so we will use the same component as we have have we have used there, uh, which is the, the extract JSON fields. So we combine it like that. Um, I have discussed in the previous video how we can uh, query this JSON. Uh, you can use an online tool, um, but right now it seems pretty straightforward how we need to parse this JSON. Um, let's just say that we take some basic things uh, just as the first name, the last name, 
the full name, maybe the wave, the age as well. Um, and let's uh, take something more spicy. Uh, let's say the, the salary. Yeah, let's take that one as well. Uh, and maybe the jersey number. Uh, so let's do that right here. The first thing we need to do is here add them in the schema. So let's say uh, for the ID here, the first name, last name, name, uh, what else we had, like the way H, the debut year, jersey, salary, that seems uh, enough. We also define a length for each column so the table can be created in the database. We'll see, just to make things easy, I have defined every column as a string, um, but while some are actually integers. Uh, okay, just like that. And then you can see them right here. Uh, the first thing we do here just the same as we have done there, is say that the JC field is a string. And here it will iterate over the array athletes. As can be seen here in the API. Here, this is actually the array that we are going to iterate over as all the players are listed here. And then we just uh, add the JSON queries. So for the ID, this is quite an easy query to set up. Same for the first name and last name. I just copy them and put here first name. Here, last name. Full name. Wait, almost there from our left. H, which was also in the same object, so also a simple query is needed. Jersey, same, and then the salary was a bit more complex it was first in the array of contract and then we needed the attribute salary like that so let me just show you so that was here in contract which is another object we want the salary so that's this one right there that's why the query is slightly different than the other ones. But okay, this should actually do it. Let's tail a row to have a look at the output. We connect it. I will deactivate this subjob as data is already imported. So now the job is building. Let's see if there are any issues. So, yeah, we can already stop. Um, you see, it's an iteration six, but we can already see some outputs. For example, here we see all the different columns for a particular team, and so on. Yeah, so this is for every team that it's done right there. Uh, as you may notice, the only thing that we are kind of missing right now is which team all these outputs belongs to. Uh, so we actually want to add the ID that is inputted here in the in a field of the output. So we can simply do that by using a team map right here. 
So we first say that we are going to take every column from here. Here we have a new output stream that's output one. And you can add all the columns right there. But we will add a new column that we will define as team ID. Like that. Here we can press auto map, so it will automatically take all the correct columns. Right here, we have to fill in where it gets the data from team ID. And as we already have seen, this is from row5.id. Right here, row5.id is actually the team ID. So that should actually be it. We can output it in database and have a look if everything is fine. Here again, Microsoft SQL Server. We use the existing connection. Here we take our output one that we have defined. Let's define a particular table. Let's call it SPN NBA layers. Um, the, the, the table is not created yet, so let's pick here create table if it does not exist and update or insert. If we have here picked update and insert, we also need to define a key and the key is just the ID of the player. So let's propagate changes. Yeah, just like that. Let's have a double check here if the schema is correct. Everything seems fine. So we can now run the job and have a look if everything oh, seems like something, uh, a quote is missing. Yeah, like that. So let's run it again. It's okay here. We will probably need 30 iterations but it's going quite fast, there's not a lot of data. So yes, indeed, 30 iterations are done. Let's have a look if the table is present in the database. Yes, it is. Let's have a look at it. Here we can see 513 different players, all with the required attributes are there in our database. Because we have imported this team ID, we can actually link these two tables. So we can make queries just like, let me just paste the query, just like this, um, where we take from the players, only those players from the LA Lakers and order them by age. So let's execute this. There are some columns missing. Here, remaining experience, position, and height, like that. And as you can see here, all only players from the LA Lakers are present, and they are ordered by age. So we actually use the data of both the tables right here. So that's it for now. Um, hope this helps. And maybe see you in the next video. Thank you.